Hello, you're watching The Luna Show, and guess who's right there? Randy Balenciaga, four-time winner of the year for Butch Queen Face. Can you believe that? Four times? Hi. What's good, Luna? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm chilling. Chillin'. What's going on in Randy world? Tell me, what's, who's Randy, for those who don't know you? Because you are very private. Yeah. Um, who's Randy? I'm a pretty laid-back kind of guy. Um... Some people might call me boring. Um, you know, I work a lot. I'm usually just chilling in the crib, watching a movie. I like to cook. Um, I can be goofy. Um, I love good music. I like 90s kind of R&B music, mm -hmm. pop, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of ready. I'm a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. um, and my favorite color is baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in your MySpace that you, uh, one of your favorite movies is The Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. And you wrote, it's so funny. What 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 was your favorite line in the movie, if you remember any? Please bore someone else with your questions. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Family Guy. Yeah. Some, uh, somebody, uh, is there somebody in your life? Um, Who so got you to watch Family Guy? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> um, you wrote something about, yeah. I'm watching Family Guy because... Somebody, you know, got me to watch it. Um, because we have that in common. What? Cause, because I, I never watched the show, and I'm dating somebody who loves Family Guy, oh, okay. so. <laughs> Sean got me on that. Yeah, um, we were chilling one night, of course, a while ago. Um, and he got me watching it. And ever since then, I, I can't tell myself away from it. It's hilarious. Who's your favorite character there? Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> the Stewie. killer? Yes. I can't believe he's, he killed his mom. He is crazy. <laughs> so they thought. Okay, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me, uh, you've been walking how many years now? About seven years. I came out in um, '02. And you were a Blonic then? Um, you come into the scene as a Blonic? Or? Ch Chanel, yeah. Okay, and you, um, so you've won of the year four times. Tell me a little bit about some of those successes in the scene, like what your accomplishments are in the, in the ball scene. Well, I've won a total <clears throat> of um, five of the years. Um, yeah. um, New York was probably... One of my I would consider my biggest accomplishment. I've always wanted to uh, get up the year, and I'm New York City based. Mm -hmm. I finally obtained that. Um, I got it in D.C., Philly, um, Jersey, so up and down the East Coast. Um, winning a thousand dollars for Open to All Face was another accomplishment of mine. So I'm part of that club. Um, Did that just recently happen? Yeah, that was actually probably about a month ago in Chicago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which balls you like the most? Atlanta, New York, Chicago. I like all Kentucky, because <laughs> you know they have them in Kentucky now. <laughs> I don't think I've been to Kentucky, but um, I mean I like I like every state. It's funny because every city, Atlanta, Chicago, New York, have a different flavor. So it's you get a taste of every aspect of ballroom from every different city. So of course New York is where you know where it began. So I think that this is where it's at, absolutely. But I enjoy it in every city, even California. I had a great time when I went out there for the um, awards. Yeah, there are balls everywhere now. What mm. do you think about that? The scene growing so much like that. <laughs> it's a good thing for the most part. It's it can be frustrating though when you have twenty five balls in one week. <laughs> it's like it's difficult for you to get to all these balls. But um, I think it's it's a phenomenal thing that the scene is, is um has cultivated as much as it has. So it's, it's a good thing mm. for the most part. I just wish that people would slow down the balls, but it's not. It's good stuff. So since you say you're, uh, you know, you're very, nobody really knows much about you and you're goofy, what's something goofy that you do? <laughs> do you do goofy faces? <laughs> no, um, people who know me know, uh, if I'm chilling around the house and some music come on, I sing, I have this really goofy voice I sing with. Um, so yeah, I, I, I sing. If I'm by myself, I'm at the house acting a fool, singing. So do you know how to sing? Maybe. Don't ask me to. I'm not going to. Oh, do it, please. I'll be such a uh, treat. No, I can't. Who do you sound like when you sing? John Legend? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I have an interesting voice. It's, um, I haven't really sang, sang since high school. I used to join, do talent shows in high school, and I won them. Um, and then after, as I got older, I just kind of got out of it. And really, I haven't practiced it in a while. Tell us something that you know, you know that a lot of people don't know about you. Hmm. Other people don't know about me. Um, I played football in high school. People might not believe that, but yeah, I did. And um, were you good at it? 
I was. I, I was. Don't know, I don't know how to play ball at all. <laughs> I could run really fast, so that was that was my my my, my basic primary element was running. Mm -hmm. So I could yeah I could play. Who's your favorite ballroom celebrity? Um, I have a couple. Um, I love Leomi, which is the floor is ridiculous. Um, I love Whitney. Um, I have never met Brian, but he's one of my favorites. He's, he's definitely a face I look up to. Um, there's a couple. I mean, it was like my. So is Whitney and Brian p two people that inspire you? Absolutely. In your category? Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And who's your favorite femme queen? Who's I the hottest femme queen that you would love to walk with? And um, I would love to walk with my little sister Maya. Um, I love Octavia. I love my mother Raquel. Um, who else? Um, oh, Maya's so beautiful! Oh my God. Oh, uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and you guys look like you could be brother and sister. You know that, right? I've heard that. <laughs> we, we talk about that all the time. We we refer to each other. That as, team face would be hot. So you haven't done that yet, right? Not yet. We haven't had the opportunity yet. So maybe one day, you know. It's you two know. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> So, um, so you come from Chicago, right? I am from Chicago. So, what made you leave Chicago and come to the big city of New York City and become practically almost a legend in the ball scene? <laughs> um, it was time for change. Um, after I graduated college in Chicago, um, my brother was moving to the East Coast. He invited me to come. I said no. Then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Let me move to the East Coast, try something new, see what I can get into. And I haven't turned back since. I found out I can do makeup. I have a career in that. Um, met some great friends. They come up with Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of um, life altering changes happen to someone. Okay. Are you planning to do the AIDS walk this year? Absolutely. I plan on participating in a lot of um, different events to, you know, um, help our community. Um, you know, speak, walk. Um, you know, try to be a good influence to the uh, the younger generation. Mm -hmm. what, what, give me one message you would love for young people to remember. One night of pleasure can lead to a lifetime of pain if you don't take care of ourselves. And prioritize. Um, if you want to do balls, if you want to, whatever it is you want to do, um, just make sure you balance the two. Balance life, balance the ballroom. Just make sure that they're balanced equally so that you don't get caught up in the middle and lose focus. Okay, is there something else you would like us to know before we say goodbye to beautiful Randy? <laughs> um, I don't know. Nothing I can think of. <laughs> Chow, tell us something. <laughs> Are you going to the Icon Ball? Um, I plan on going. Give me a sister Icon Ball. Yeah, you have to go. So I can get a couple of shots of you while you're walking or something. Yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for doing this. Thank you so much. I know you're me. such a private person. And this is a big <laughs> deal. But thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Peace out. All right. More to come. Stay tuned. The Luna Show.